Hey queens, today we're gonna do a different type of video. I feel like I haven't done a video like this in a while. I'm gonna do a Q&A get ready with me. I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram. I keep getting requests on my makeup because I have like an updated makeup tutorial. So I thought I'd just put it in one video. I have a lot of new subscribers and I feel like you guys don't really know me. So I've got loads of questions written out. I chose my favorite ones. So yeah. I'm literally just gonna do my makeup while answering questions. So first of all, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 2.5. I used to have three, but um, it was way too dark for me. So I haven't worn makeup in like a week. I love wearing makeup when I haven't worn it for ages. I'm just feel like a new person. Right, let's actually get into the questions. So the first question is how old am I and when is my birthday? I feel like I get this question a lot and I think you guys are really confused about my age. I don't know why. Some people think I'm like 25 and then some people think I'm like 15. I went to shop yesterday and I was getting some alcohol for my parents and I got ID'd and she told me you have to look 35 to be ID'd. I was like that is not true and I was so embarrassed because I was like I hate getting ID'd. Obviously I know I don't look, it's actually 25. I know I don't look 25 but please just don't it's just embarrassing like why do i have to get id it just i feel like i look 14 but then when i tell people how old i am on tiktok they'll be like what don't even say how old i am i'm 19 <laughs> i don't even think i told you guys how old i am i'm at 20 on july the 17th two fun facts about my birthday in mamma mia one of like the first lines that she says is july 17th when she's like reading the diary entry the first diary entry is july 17th which i love and when i was younger i used to get so excited like that was why it was my favorite film because it said my birthday um and the other fun fact is if you go onto your phone and you go on the emojis and there's the calendar emoji it's July 17th, which is such a random date. It's not even like the exact like halfway point of the year. Like there's no reason for it to be July 17th, but it is. I'm not complaining. I feel like it's so cool because it's the only day of the year that you can actually use it and it's on my birthday. Obviously you can use it any day. Oh my God, I need to stop waffling. I'm 19. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with the Lancome concealer. I love this concealer so much, but it's not in my shade. I don't even know what shade this is. That is the back of it, if you wanna take a screenshot of that. It says 320, 35. I don't know, I don't get stuff like this. Like it doesn't actually have a shade on it, but it doesn't, I don't put it under my eyes. I just put it on my spots. I think this is such a good concealer. However, it's not my shade, so. It's not really a concealer, like it is, but for my spots, it's my spot concealer love it the next question is what is my job and i also got this question a lot i feel like i don't know i feel like it's obvious that social media is my job which i'm so grateful for i'm so grateful that you guys have made that possible for it to be my job and yeah i have always dreamed of doing social media like it's always been a thing since i was like 13 i'm not even joking i wanted to do social media I started tiktok when i was 14 that's a whole nother conversation to have but i think someone asked a question like that so i'm gonna answer it but yeah i've literally wanted to do social media since i was younger um i don't really know where i'm gonna go with it though like i don't have much plans i'm just enjoying it at the moment i love doing it, it makes me really happy and it's just such a fun job it's literally the funnest job out there i'm so grateful it's my job and then next i'm gonna go in with the born this way concealer by too faced and this is in the shade cloud this concealer is so good i rave about this so much on my tiktok and you hardly need anything like the tiniest to be fair i put quite a lot on there but i hate my eye bags but most people don't that is all you need and just watch just I'm just gonna go in with the iconic setting spray as well, just to kind of, I don't know, I feel like it makes the concealer wet, which makes it easier to blend. Okay, yeah, so the next question is how long did it take me to grow my TikTok? So this kind of links in with the 14 year old me starting. So I actually started TikTok when I was 14, like I downloaded the app because this boy in my school was like talking about it and I was like, what is TikTok? Like hardly anyone had it at this age. And then I got obsessed with it and I'd come home from school and all I would do was watch TikToks. And then I, I think I posted a few. Yeah, I posted a TikTok and it like, it didn't blow up, but it got like 20, maybe like 30,000 views. And I was like, I'm actually famous. Like, 
<laughs> like when I was younger that was crazy to me and back then it wasn't big to be big if that makes sense like now it's quite a common thing to have followers on TikTok but like back then I was like oh my god because like no one had it in my school at that time um so then I started taking it seriously I got like obsessed with it and I'd literally come home and like film TikToks every day after school and I got to like 300,000 followers when I was about 15. So I was in year 10 at the time and my account got banned, which I don't know why, I just randomly got banned one day. So then I just kind of stopped posting and then obviously it came back around in lockdown. I feel like everyone got TikTok in lockdown. I was really upset at the fact I got banned. I literally cried, I was so sad. I was like, I'm never gonna post again. But then obviously it came back around in lockdown. And I was like, I'll just do it. So I did it again, got to about 200,000, got banned again. I feel like TikTok just had a thing about banning me I don't know why so then I kind of stopped again and then I met my boyfriend and I was just like I was putting everything into him so I didn't really like put a lot of effort into TikTok anymore and then he joined university last September I feel like this story is so boring I'm literally getting bored of my voice can I just hurry up and tell the story he joined university in September 2022 and I was like oh, I'm just gonna start it because like, I'd left college at this point and I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was older and I was like I literally don't know what I'm gonna do with my life so I just like bashed out loads of TikToks and here I am two years maybe not two years like no not even two years I didn't even start like properly in September I started in November time so it's been like a year and a few months since I properly started TikTok and then obviously with YouTube I've only been doing it six months kind of I was really bad at being consistent on YouTube but I've got a lot better at it I post every week and now sometimes twice a week Okay, now I'm going in with the cream bronzer by collection. This is in the shade one, I'm pretty sure. It's just like this. And I'm gonna get my setting spray again. I'm just spray it because it doesn't sometimes this makes my makeup go weird, so I don't really know whether to do it or not. I'm kind of I feel like I'm gonna regret it, but yeah, get that on the brush. It's very light coverage, which I like because it's not like too pigmented, like you can build on it, which I love. But yeah, I just put that everywhere. But yeah, the next question is does social media affect me negatively? And if it does, how do I deal with it? I actually don't think it does like too much. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself sometimes to post and it's like I don't have to like I feel like every day I have to be a hundred percent because you're having to like get ready, show yourself online every day. Like if you work in a normal like job you just kind of if you're in a bad mood it doesn't really affect anyone else like you don't have to be in a good mood for other people I feel like when you're doing social media you have to come online and like act like this like perfect person in a way so I feel like in that sense it does kind of have a negative toll on me but not like too much it's only sometimes so yeah it's not too bad which is good and obviously sometimes it is nasty comments but it is like I said I've been doing it since I was 14 so it's quite easy to just like, block them delete the comments like, it's quite easy to ignore obviously some people get it a lot worse like I'm quite lucky like I don't get a lot of hate but if I do it's just easy to block it out I, th I think it is anyway like in my personal preference no that's not the word don't want to make myself too orange and I feel like I always do this but I'm gonna go in with the NARS bronzer this is in the shade I don't even want to pronounce that my pronunciations are so bad number three I'm pretty sure yeah I don't want to make myself too orange this is what I mean when it goes on weird like if I put cream bronzer and powder bronzer on it goes a bit patchy you can see that to be fair, it's not as bad as sometimes right I need to look at the next question will I be doing a giveaway yes I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1 million followers on TikTok so if you're not following me on TikTok go follow me on TikTok it's gonna be a huge giveaway I actually can't wait I feel like I'm just gonna put all my favorite brands and products in it just so you guys can actually get a bit of me <laughs> get a taste of me yeah so already I've got a few bits for it which is so exciting I've got a GHD straightener and some loving tan products and I'm also going to be putting like a glow recipe I don't really know what else yet I'm still thinking but I feel like I want to I want to put one of these Sunday whipped foams because I always rave about it I love it so much and yeah maybe like a heatless curler thing like just little things like that that kind of make me me if that makes sense I'm going to be going in with the iconic London setting spray again. I'm almost running out of this, which I'm getting a bit sad about, but I was thinking I might put this in the giveaway if you guys would be interested in that. If you have any ideas for the giveaway, by the way, let me know in the comments because I literally don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna spray this all over my face again. I actually love this 
stuff like look at the glow it gives you i am obsessed now go in with the Too faced highlighter and this is in the shade shooting star i love this like, it's a perfect highlight as you can see i'm um, oh. <laughs> How can you see me that's really confusing but this is such a nice highlight as you'll see as i put it on next question is am i moving out yes i am moving out hopefully in a few months i'm so excited i didn't want to talk about it because i'm so excited like i don't want to jinx anything but there will be a lot of moving content of moving vlogs apartment tour so excited i literally love like interior as well like i'm such an interior girl like my apartment is gonna be beautiful I'm actually buzzing, you guys that don't understand. I'm gonna be moving to Liverpool, which is kinda crazy, because that is a long way away from my house. Five hours from my house, it's kind of long. And I'm kinda scared, but I need to push myself out there and create a life. I can't always live in my bedroom at home. Yeah, so also I am moving out with my boyfriend. I don't know if I said that. The next question is how long have me and my boyfriend been together? So we have actually been together for two and a half years, maybe a bit longer. So yeah, it'll be three years in June, which is crazy. Like I feel like I've known him my whole life and it feels like it's been so long, but at the same time it feels like it's been so quick. Like how's three years just gone like that? But then also I feel like I've known him for like 20 years. Yeah, we met in June 2021. So it's almost been three years. My favourite person. I have a few favourite people. I feel like there's not one favourite person. Obviously my boyfriend is one of them. I feel like every girl's boyfriend is their favourite person. Like he is my best friend. Now I'm just going to go in with these two lip liners. This one's Toast and this one is Foxy Nude. And they are both from Primark. However, look at the state of that. Yeah, and then obviously my parents. I feel like they're literally my best friends. Kind of cringe to say, but they are. Um, and then obviously a few of my friends as well. But like I don't, I don't have like one favorite person. Probably Taco, but he's not a person. He's a dog. Do I have any siblings? I have like four siblings. I have one real sister. <laughs> real sister. I have one like half sister, then I have one full brother, and then I have two step siblings. Make it make sense. It's confusing, I know. What tan do I use? I use Loving Tan. It will forever be my favourite tan, and I rave about it so much. I think I said that's going in the giveaway. I can't remember if I said that or not, but yeah. The Loving Tan products will be going in the giveaway so you guys can try it out. I don't really know what shade to get because obviously everyone has different preferences of like what tan they like. I'm ultra dark so I don't know if to get ultra dark or just get a dark. I don't know. But then like obviously if you don't want that colour like you can give it to someone else or if you don't wear tan you can give it to someone else because this is a thing with the giveaway how am I supposed to like make it for everyone do you know what I mean because some people probably aren't into skincare and won't appreciate the glow recipe stuff or some people might not like the smell of vanilla and I'm putting like a vanilla whipped cream in there. Also I'm putting like a Stanley cup I forgot about that I'm putting a Stanley cup in there. Someone commented on my TikTok the other day they were like is your Stanley cup real like because you never show the front of it like babes what like no it's not it's i never said it was a stanley cup also how am i like supposed to not show the front do you know what i mean like i'm just holding it the way that i'd hold it like do you want me to go up to the camera and be like this like no no oh my god i forgot to bake my face how did i forget that i know i was forgetting something all right let's do that so i used the huda beauty baking powder in the shade pound cake i love this stuff it smells so good i always rave out how good it smells my mum said it smells like her um grandma's like old baking you know like how old ladies have their little that is literally us guys i feel like i shouldn't be baking because it's just gonna make my makeup go weird now because i've just started baking my face with a full face of makeup on i should have done this a long time ago oh wow i literally want to keep my face like this when i do this <laughs> love it what's the last question oh yeah my favorite place to shop and like where i get my clothes from i get this question a lot so white fox is the number one literally all my clothes are from white fox um i do love a bit of pretty little thing um sisters and seekers there's so many i could sit here for ages h&m zara there's so many i could literally sit here for ages those are my like 
few that I like always shop from. White Fox is the main one. Like I get all my stuff from White Fox. Um, there'll be more hauls coming on my channel and stuff. So look out for that. I'm actually filming a White Fox haul after this. So look out for that. I think that will be posted on Sunday because I'm supposed to be posting this on Wednesday. So this will be out by Sunday. The White Fox one will be out by Sunday, sorry. I'm getting confused when I'm even talking about. And then the last question that you guys asked well, I just thought this one, like, I, could, I don't want to, like, have, like, really boring questions. So I was like, let's just put a few fun ones in there. This isn't really fun. But someone asked, do I have any phobias? And my phobia is cats. I'm embarrassed to tell you guys that, but it is. I'm terrified of cats. Like, my best friend has a cat. And every time I go to her house, her cat will come near me. And I will literally scream and, like, run to the other side of the room. I don't know what it is. So it must have happened in my past life. But I just hate cats so much. It is literally petrifying me. Something must have happened in my past life. Like, there's no reason for me to be that scared of cats with nothing. Like, I haven't even had a traumatic experience. Like, why am I not scared of them? I feel like it's quite a common phobia, though. I feel like a lot of people are scared of cats. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something <laughs> from my makeup tutorial. I feel like it wasn't like a proper, like, in depth one. Like, I didn't really explain what I'm doing. But if you do want a proper, like, in depth makeup tutorial, I will do one. But yeah, I feel like this makeup look, I feel like I explained what I do. I don't really know. Oh, I look weird without the clips in now. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, which is the White Fox haul. So look out for that on Sunday. Love you, queens. Bye.